Hello, I'm Jesus Cortez and this is Lakefront News. The UAC was recently transformed into a miniature Comic-Con where vendors and artists set up to show their work. Anime lovers from all around San Antonio gathered on campus to take part in one of the biggest events that Olu has to offer, Mizumi-Con 6. The event lasted from 10 a.m. to midnight. People dressed up as their favorite anime characters from popular graphic novels, video games, and movies. More than 40 events took place throughout the day. Panel discussions were held around the campus and guests were able to experience a variety of food in the mall area. A Mizumi-Con Harlem Shake even broke out. In all, more than 2,000 people were in attendance. Moving on, this week the Olu English Department hosted its literary festival, inviting several guests to share their work. One of the nation's finest poets made several appearances across the campus. Lakefront reporter Margaret Tovar has more. That's right, Jesus. Richard Blanco is the first Latino, first openly gay, and the youngest poet to have read his work at a presidential inauguration. I had the chance to attend an intimate meet and greet with him on campus that gave students and faculty an opportunity to ask questions about his work and his path to the podium. During his meeting, he read some of his work and spoke about his experience at the inauguration and how the poem, One Today, was chosen. I had to write three poems in two to three weeks, so after two weeks I wrote uh, two poems, one of them being One Today, the first draft. Um, and I submitted those two, they picked One Today, overwhelmingly. And I um, ended up with that poem, which I felt now very close to me because my voice is in there, even though I only say I, I think, once, and have two self, two autobiographical references. And yet I felt it was just as close to me as anything else because I just, I went back and did the imagery, the, you know, what I'm, what my writing, the lushness of the, of the, of the tone and whatnot. And so it, that was a very big learning experience for me. He said he was made in Cuba, assembled in Spain and imported to the United States and that everyone is born into a story. He shared his insight on the subject. Part of that story was uh, to honor, to document, as I like to say, I'm sort of an emotional historian. I wanted to record those stories as seen through my eyes of my generation as Cuban Americans, as my parents' story, that things, you know, that were not going to be told. Um, so that's part of, I think, why the narrative form has taken on, has taken a predominance in my, in my writing. Blanco also shared a reading in the Theory Auditorium on Tuesday and gave students tips on how to better their work. To read more on Richard Blanco, be sure to pick up the next issue of the Lakefront newspaper. Back to you, Jesus. Thank you, Margaret. There's a new place for students and faculty to cash out. Reporter Neda Alejandra has the story. A new ATM was added to replace the existing machine in the UAC. The provider that we have ordered a new machine for us um, that is in the new location in the Moy Breezeway. Um, he has left that one there just for an interim period until the community um, has been informed of the new machine and then he is planning to remove the other one. A one dollar and fifty cent fee will be charged per transaction which is a fifty cent decrease from the UAC machine. Moy Breezeway was chosen because of its more central location for students, faculty, and staff. Um, we've had a lot of students and, and faculty and staff have a harder time to get over to the UAC if they're on the other side of the campus where, where the residence halls are. And so we've had many requests over the past couple of years to move it to a more central location. The ATM is accessible any time of the day as long as the buildings are open. Neda Alejandra, Lakefront News. With the semester rapidly coming to an end, it is about time for students to register for the upcoming fall semester. Seniors will be allowed to register for classes April 15th, juniors on the 16th, and everyone else on the 17th. This week, SGA will be holding elections. Junior Ashley Guevara is running unopposed for the position of president. And sophomore Christian Ortiz and junior Tahi Contreras are duking it out for VP. That's going to do it for this week's Lakefront News. If you have any story ideas, you can visit our Facebook page. You can check out other newscasts at lakefrontsa.com. Thanks for joining us, and you stay classy, Olu.